Right, hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's our second upload of the day. This one was a bit of an expected one. Well, I say un unexpected. We kind of, uh, you know, um, saw it coming. It's been all over the media. Uh, Swansea City have appointed Luke Williams um, as the new head coach. Um, unfortunately, it'll be just me in this video again. Luke's still uh, recovering from uh, tonsillitis. He should be at the game tomorrow, though. But, um, yeah, I hope he gets better soon. But, um, yeah, so uh, Swansea City have appointed Luke Williams as their um, new head coach. Um, so yeah, it was been on the cards for quite a, quite a long time. Um, obviously, it took a bit a bit of a long time to announce, um, but he's finally here. Um, obviously, he did um, he did work at Swansea before as an assistant manager um, under Russell Martin in the twenty twenty one twenty two season, I believe. Um, but yeah, he's, he's had a lot of um, a lot of experience now as a well, I say a lot of experience, he's had a lot of experience as a coach, as a first team manager. Um, he's had quite a lot of experience, um, not as much as obviously as an assistant, but he still had, uh, you know, quite a few seasons now with Notts County. Um, he obviously started off with Brighton um, as an under twenty ones, um, a reserve coach. Um, he's obviously been at, he's been at Swindon as well as an assistant manager and a head coach. Um, Bristol City under twenty threes coach. Um, he's been an MK Don's assistant to Russell Martin, obviously, and then assistant to Russell Martin again um, with us back in 2021-22, which I mentioned, um, and at Notts County, um, he was the head coach for a season, obviously guided them to lead two uh, from the National League uh, via the playoffs. Um, so yeah, he's done a very good job um, in his previous um, his previous club in Notts County. Um, a few stats from at Notts County, um, the most wins in a league season, which is 32, fewest defeats in a league season, three, most points in a league season, 107. Most goals in a league season, 117. Longest ever on beaten run, 25 matches. Best ever goal difference, which is 75. Um, and I also believe he's got the most goals from corners as well. So, uh, yeah, some very good stats there for Luke Williams. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about this signing, to be honest with you. Um, he has also brought X1 Ryan Harley. Um, as assistant head, co head coach. He obviously did have a spell with Swans about a decade ago. Now, I don't think he made an appearance, but he was obviously on the books here. And he's also brought in George Loughty as well as a first team coach and analyst. Um, and as well as that, um, Alan Sheehan is going to remain here. Um, I don't know whether he'll be you know, a direct assistant or whether he'll have some sort of um, coaching role. Um, so he'll stay. Um, I'm also hearing that Chris O'Leary is going to stay as well. Um, also Martin Margotson. So, um, yeah, it's looking quite good to be honest with you. The the main bulk of the uh the coaching staff is to stay and the only real changes is the head coach to be honest with you. Um but yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited about this um about this sign in. Well appointment it's, it's been on the cards for some time now. Um yeah, obviously he did spend um he did spend a season here under Russell Martin. Um so he knows the club very well. Hopefully we can bring back that sort of um you know, the, those community sort of vibes, you know, connecting with the fans. Um I thought that really helps us on and off the pitch. Um, but yeah, he seems like a great guy. He did a great job at Notts County. Um, so hopefully he can do a very good job for us. Uh, I think it's a bit too late for a playoff push now. Um, but, you know, maybe a top 10 finish. Maybe I'm being a bit optimistic, but we'll just have to see. Obviously, we have got more coming in the FA Cup third round tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see whether he'll, you know, change things up completely. Um, whether he'll take some advice from Alan Sheehan from his last few games. Um, whether he'll play some youngsters. You know who knows what will, what will sort of happen, um, but obviously he's in the building at the moment and he will be in charge for tomorrow's game. Um, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, I have also heard as well that he was, you know, a lot of the brains behind Martin's first season as well. Um, some of the tactics, um, you know, were, were based off his thoughts. Obviously, he would have um, would have been with Martin for the two Cardiff games. So you know, with the derby coming up in a few months, he knows exactly what the South Wales derby is all about. Um, we have got the Southampton game coming up as well this month, month which will be a bit, uh, bit of a tasty affair. Obviously, Luke Williams versus Russell Martin. Um, hopefully, we don't get pumped five 0 this time. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm on the whole, I'm very excited about this appointment. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. I know we've got more come tomorrow, as I said, um, and then we got uh, we're back to league action then. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a very good, uh, very good decision from the club. Andy Coleman's done a very good job. Um, in all fairness to him and um, yeah I'm glad that it's finally done and especially in time for tomorrow's game I think it's the perfect time 
him to come in. Um, to be honest with you, I think if he came in, you know, just before the Southampton game, I think a lot of pressure would would be on him. Um, but I think he's got a good chance now to get us to win it back to winning ways. Well, I say back to winning ways, but you know we won our last game. But you know, get on track, get his first win. And as I said, what a time to do it because you know, in all respects to uh, Morecambe, uh, you never know what's one of these But in all, in all respects to Morecambe, you do expect us to win the game tomorrow. So um, yeah, hopefully he can get um, get us on the good path. Um, get started with a win, progress to the next round, and then, you know, he's got a week to prepare then for uh, for Birmingham. So, uh, yeah, I think I think the appointment has come at the right time, and I think he's got a very good chance to um, to get his first win tomorrow. Uh, yeah, um, obviously, once again, a massive thanks for watching this. Um, obviously, we didn't expect to do two, two um, uploads today. Um, we will be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. Um, Luke will be attending the game. Um, I'm ninety percent certain of that. So um, yeah, we'll both be back tomorrow um, with a match day vlog. So stay tuned for that. And if you, obviously, if you haven't watched our match preview ahead of tomorrow's game, uh, we uploaded that about two hours ago as well. So um, yeah, if you have, if you've not seen that, I'd be muchly appreciated if you could uh, if you go and watch that. Um, but yeah, as I said, once again, a massive thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for tomorrow.